Well hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I thought I would show you all the mathematical uh, learning resources and materials that I have at home to use with my children for when they do any maths exercises or counting exercises or whatever. I've got lots of different bits and pieces as you can see. Most of these I bought online from Amazon. Um, they're all fairly cheap. So I'm just going to go through what I have and how these items can help you at home when you're doing uh, some maths with your kids or maybe they've got homework and they need a little bit of um, extra help with some visual tools. So let's get cracking. So first up, let's start with the counters. Uh, counters always help when you're doing maths activities with your children so they can visualize and do hands-on learning. You can get really brightly colored counters, different shapes and so on. So as well as doing your maths and your counting, you might also be learning about animals or different sizes and so on. So your basic counter would be these that I've put in this uh, body bath bottle. These are just plain um, primary coloured counters. You can get these anywhere nice and cheaply. You can also get magnetic rimmed counters which are quite nice and then you can buy a magnetic wand and um, pick them up with the wand but these are, are, are very easy to use uh, with any kind of mathematical exercise. Then I have some insect counters or bugs um, these were, I think, either 24 for a pack or 72. So you've got like a dragonfly, a bumblebee, and my kids absolutely love these. They just like to play with them um, just in general, not just for a uh, maths activity. They, they really like these. So um, I got these on eBay, actually. There were bugs, there was transport, there was sea creatures. So you can use those for lots of different counting activities. I've also got the bears. Now there are lots of these um, counter bears around on the internet. Some of them are very expensive. These ones are different uh, sizes. So you've got small, medium and large bears. Uh, so you can use these for pattern matching, color matching, sizing, whatever you like. Again, I have the 24 pack. I think there was a 72 pack. I think these were about a fiver, so um, good price as well. Don't forget, when you're doing counting, you can also use things you've got around the house. You can even use cereal. I've seen lots of Cheerio activities where the child counts out the Cheerios or beans, not baked beans, that could get a little bit messy. So anything you like, you don't have to go out and buy counters, you could have things around the house, so that's um, nice and easy to use. Then moving on to actual numbers. So I've got this box here, this was Melissa and Doug. These are magnetic numbers. Um, I think you've got naught to nine, and then obviously you can make up the numbers 10 and, and so on. And they've also got, um, all the symbols for your multiplication, your division, and so on. So these are really nice. I've also got some uh, plastic magnetic numbers. Um, so anything you like, and then you can stick them on the fridge, you can stick them onto a whiteboard, or you can just, you know, pop them onto a piece of paper, maybe write the numbers and say, can you match number two with number two on the paper, and so on. So, and it comes in a nice little handy box there as well. Um, I've also got other numbers in here. This is my sort of maths resources box. Um, so I've got these little numbers. What is that? Oh, that's the um, less than sign. I've got some little numbers on uh, wooden tiles here. And I've also got this. I know this is a clock and you might not necessarily be doing the time with your child but these chunky numbers are nice to use for number recognition and also shape recognition so that's quite nice if you've got anything like that, that kind of toy or game you could use that uh, for your activities. I also have these wooden pegs um, with numbers on. Basically I bought the wooden pegs for like a pound and I just popped the numbers on there. I think I did one to 10, but you could do one to 20, one to 50, depending on how many pegs you have. And these are quite nice uh, for simple games. So you could have a piece of paper with the different numbers on and they have to peg the peg 
onto uh, the correct number. Lots of different activities you can do with those. And then I've got these fantastic number dice. These I got off Amazon. They were from uh, the Learning Resources Company. Um, there's two in a pack. They are nice and large, made of foam. So um, really nice ergonomic fit for young children. And what we do is we sort of roll the dice and I'll say, what number is that? Oh, here, you know, my son will go, it's the number five. Let's take five steps forward or let's jump five times. Or, you know, you can put those foam mats down that have got the different numbers on and whatever number the dice lands on they have to jump to that foam tile with that correct number on. There's lots of different activities you can do with um, these number dice as well. I've also just bought some foam dice with the dots on so not necessarily the number it's the um, the number of dots so depending on where your child is at you could use either of those. Now I have got this uh, Montessori number board but it is a mini version of the Montessori number board when I bought it um, I thought it was a larger one but no matter it does exactly the same thing it comes with the tiles 1 to 100 I don't do 1 to 100 with my children because um, they're still young my eldest is nearly four and my younger one is two so we tend to just do you know the numbers 1 to 10 or 1 to 20 you can do them diagonally or you know straight across however you like this is always a nice uh, learning resource to have in your home. So let's take a look at what else I've got in the shoe box. So um, this I actually bought online. So it had the little wooden tiles in there. I just added the um, pegs in there as well. So it had the little wooden tiles and then it also came with these rods which I popped in this jam jar because when I tipped out this little box I then couldn't get everything back in so um, I popped them in here um, again you can do different activities with these you know you can you know roll the dice have a number and then lay out the number of rods and they're also different colors so that's quite nice I've also got smaller wooden dice um, I wouldn't advise you to use these obviously with small children even my two-year-old still likes to pop everything in his mouth. Um, but these came in a pack, and I thought perhaps when we were playing other games, um, they might be useful later on. So I've also just got some normal coloured um, plastic pegs. Again, you can do whatever number activity with those. Can you find four blue pegs? Can you find three red pegs? Or can you peg them to the washing line? Whatever, that's quite nice. Um, oh, other counters. <laughs> I've got paper clips. Um, so actually I do have a an activity that has different um, pictures with different numbered paper clips so my son gets out the number of paper clips and pops them on I've also got buttons you, you can use literally anything so that's that I've also popped my pickup sticks game in here this is mathematical it's logical it's fine motor skills lots of um, different skills in this one game so I popped that in here as well because the children kept opening it and throwing the sticks everywhere so I thought I'd leave that in here. These are brilliant. Um, I never know what the correct name is for these. I think Unifix cubes or stacking cubes. I've got oh, a pack of 10 different colours and 10 individual cubes in each one. Um, again this was fairly reasonably priced on Amazon. These are excellent for kids to use. You know, you can do division, subtraction, uh, multiplication with these. They are an excellent visual uh, learning tool for maths and for colours. Also, my children like to make shapes with them. So, excellent use. This goes way back. People have been using this for many years. Another thing you might like are these mats. Um, this is Let's Learn Our Numbers 1 to 10. You can get a dry eraser pen and go over the numbers. It's also got the word one, two, three, four, five. They like to count. Uh, I initially was using this as a food mat. So when they were eating their breakfast, we were looking at the numbers. Now I'm using it as a Play-Doh mat. So it's just a little bit more dirty. Um, it's uh, just a, a laminated mat. And on the back of this one, yeah, so it continues with the numbers. These can be quite expensive, especially if you buy them um, in a shop. You're better off getting these online. Again, there's lots of number ones, alphabet ones, but these are really nice just to have as part of your daily routine. 
You might also want to get yourself an abacus. I've actually ordered a mini abacus now, which will probably be about this size, actually. Um, this was something we bought from Cyprus, so it's got the Greek alphabet and little clock and everything. It's just too much for the children at the moment. Um, it's, it's too visually stimulating for them to concentrate just on the abacus bit. But um, I do like this one, and it, it's very good to have an abacus for children. So you can say, you know, can you count three across, or can you do five, take away two, or whatever. I mean, this is obviously a very traditional mathematical tool and um, I think every household should have one even if it's just for therapeutic value I mean I just enjoy doing that ah <sighs> so satisfying okay now books and flashcards um, I showed you all my worksheets in my um, learning resources folders so you can do you know worksheets and uh, activities like that flashcards are always excellent um, this one is just your basic uh, 0-100 very clear number uh, with the word as well. It's got different numbers on the back so um, yeah don't get confused when you're going one, two and then you're showing the child the number 51. Um, but these I just wanted very very plain black on white numbers which was quite hard to find actually with these flashcards. A lot of them have got uh, animals around them and so on but I just want the plain number. So I shall leave all the links by the way to everything down below if I can find them but I'll leave the link to these flashcards as well. Now books, there are loads of fantastic educational books out there. So this is uh, My Learning World Numbers. Learn your numbers to 20, which includes wet clean pages and a pen. So let's have a look in here. So you can just ask your child to get the pen and can they trace the number? Uh, it says, encourage your child to count the number of items out loud before drawing around the dotted lines. And my sons like to wipe it off as well. So this is just a, a, sh a short book with the numbers 1 to 20. Uh, but you could, you know, take that on holiday with you. Just a little exercise. So there's loads of those out there. I think I got that one from TK Maxx. Then I've got these early years um, books. I found these in Wilco's and they were about a pound, so I quite liked them. I just thought, why not get these? So these, you know, you'd have to do, obviously, maybe with a pencil. Um, I would not advise doing with a felt tip, because then you won't be able to go over them again. So let's have a look here. So count one, point to the number, trace it with your finger, and then point to each picture. Count how many and write the answer in each box. So these are quite nice. This says ages three to five. And I know that when it comes to especially maths, um, you know, they say that just doing worksheets and books isn't enough. You need the sort of tools to make things visually stimulating for them as well and to help engage them. But I think these books are lovely. You know, they're colourful. There are different activities. And of course, you don't have to do the whole book. You just do maybe one page at a time. This one comes with 50 gold star stickers as well. Most children do love a good sticker. So that's nice. So I've got the starting to count one and I've also got the starting to add one, um, which is actually quite simple. Um, and then it goes on, it progressively gets a little bit more difficult towards the end. Now, if you're just introducing numbers to your children, I've had this book for a long time. This is my enormous book of numbers. I've also got the my enormous book of colors and I think this is fantastic. It's, it's really beautifully illustrated. And we read this um, quite a lot, actually, as like our nighttime story. The children like saying, it's one bike, how many bears, can they find the fish? And um, this is like a really nice introductory board book. Again, there are lots of board books out there with numbers. We've got lots of other books that have got numbers 1 to 20 in, or can you find the number and, and all that. You'll, you'll find loads out there. It just depends on really what you want. So there you go guys, that was most of my mathematical and counting tools and materials. I've got my learning folders, I've got lots of educational games as well, um, but these were the basics. So I'll leave all the links down below. Really hope you enjoy the video and look out for my literacy learning materials and tools and um, things that I use for learning the alphabet and so on. That's coming very soon. So don't forget to subscribe if you like my content and hit that like button. And I shall see you next time. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.